Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Here we are on the map that we are calling Stableford at the moment. And we're following one of the barges that we put in in the last episode to start transporting seal down to our factory making boxes. Here we are passing the other one. Hi oh, yeah, other boat. I'm waving, you can't see that, but anyway, yes that's where we were in the last episode, popping these in. And over there we have a nice train line and lots of bridges going on. It's beginning to look really cool this map I think. We have a quick little pan around as we come through here with all those bridges. Got a really big bridge behind us. Another train going off over there on quite a busy line. There we go. We've done a full matrix sort of revolution there. That's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, it's been a while since the last episode, so I apologise for that. Um, we're going to zoom out quickly. We're going to have a look around. There's a few things that I've been thinking that we need to do. First, what I've decided I'm going to do is I've been saying I'm going to about this for a while, but we are putting a fourth train on here. So there we go. Then over here, we need to increase production of spanners. So if we look at Clevedon over there. We we're only delivering 50%, and I think it's the same for Rushton, 50%. We need to double our production there so we can get them both up, both up to 100%. So I've got a very sore throat, so I'm going to keep having a quick quick sip of drink while I'm going through this. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, yeah. On screen is also the populations of the towns as they are now. As we can see, Bromba is growing and the others aren't really growing at all. Like, uh, Stapleford, the titular town of this series. And we're not, and it's not growing, it's stuck stubbornly at 290. So, anyway, yeah, to get to increase our spanners, we are going to have to put another truck line in down over here, bringing more logs in to make some more planks. So, do a quick truck and loady stoppy, and then we can bring the logs in from this one over here. One platform, do it at 30 meters. There we go. Lovely. So we can do a line from here. Oh, what a lovely aqua blue that is. Beautiful. I like the pastel colors that we've had so far. But these vivid neon colours are pretty cool. So this will just be Clevedon Log 2. There we go. And we will pop some trucks on there. What trucks are we going to use these ones again? With seven of these. And one more, seven. We need that nice neon blue colour. That one, I believe. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Clevedon logs to. Off there you go. Happy day. So that should now start getting those coming over. And there was something else that I wanted to do. What was it? Oh, yeah. Bring more oil in up to here to make, so we can make some more refined oil to make some more plastic, which will help make some more boxes. So I've got two choices. One is transport oil by train for maybe this one down here, up our line, and then over here, and then maybe use these trucks to just transfer that last distance on the return journey, or just try and connect this one across on road up into here. I do like trains, but I think we might go for the. Ooh. No, I'm gonna, oh yeah, I'm gonna do the train option. Is that what I'm gonna do? No, I'm not. I'm gonna do the road. We're doing road. I had made the decision before we started this what, of what I wanted to do. And it was always to do a quick road run from here. And I don't know why I started second guessing myself. So we're gonna do. Quickly get on and do this.
There we go. Oh, we have some new stuff. <gasps> We've got articulated trucks. We have those big trucks. Yes, I like those. We'll come back and use those at a moment. Oh no, don't do that. I was... What bridge we use? This one. We use a bit of a concrete bridge across there. Oh no, not like that. Don't do this to me, come on now. No. No, 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 no. No, doing it again. Come on, game. Play the game. Oh. There we go, I'm go across there. make it long enough. A little bit more distance. There we go. And then this line here we need to be adjusted. Church road, no we look at that one. And then we'll delete that one. There we go. And then we'll upgrade this road the whole way through here so trucks can go nice and quickly. come back to putting our road up this way. Okay, that's got that bit over there. Just being a bit of a pain with it. With these levels and stuff. But we can feed this road all the way up through here. Skirting around the edges of the trees. And joining on in over here. And we will... Just put a nice little loop in over here. Cool. And that should allow us now to have a little stop in here. And then we need to put another truck stop in all the way down over here. There we go. New line. Oh, lovely bright green in this one. Won't be losing these trucks in the dark. So you can go to full load any. And we'll start off by putting six of these trucks. We'll go use these new big ones. Carrying 30. These last ones carry 21. So significantly more. So one more of these. Nice bright green. Boom! Look at those cabs. Yep. And you know what I forgot to do? Yep. Standard, isn't it? I 
Got to rename the line. So I'll rename that line now quickly. Line what? Rename that. Yes. Uh, Stapleford. Crude oil two. There we go. And while we're at it, I'm gonna do replace these vehicles too. Shoot all of these. Quick replace it with this one. There we go. Love that noise it makes. Cool. And as these are all much quicker trucks, I'm gonna upgrade this road through here too. We will have some quicker truck movement going on. There we go. There we go, yeah. It's nice and quick through there. While I'm at it, we're going to start transporting more timber from here. So first thing we're going to do is upgrade all these vehicles. A quick swap a room. We will use the flatbed ones because they can carry lots of planks. There we go. Although what this does mean is we need to now manage the line because we're taking all the planks to the budget centre to make the spanners and then taking the spanners back to the green. We can't take spanners on those trucks. We need to now put a different truck type from here over to do the. Um, I'm able to do this, the, um, the spanner delivery. So we can cargo. Ooh, cargo buildings here with it. These are all new. Will it fit in anywhere? No. Look at that. I don't know what it does, but it looks cool. And that's half of. Well, that's the most important thing, isn't it? It's more important to look cool than it is be effective. That can get into there. There we go. I'm going to buy a couple of trucks for you. These even takes everything. Nice bottle, there it is. Pom pom. And once again, guess what I didn't do? Yes, you got it. That's rename the line. So it is line one. And now we will rename it to Budley Sultan Cog. Biddly? No, Budley. Yeah, I got the IE the way around. I always question myself with that. But he's not even Cox. There we go. The other thing that I'm going to do in here, if we take this out and have a look at how everything's doing, if you look at where our food is, not all the foodie houses are being served by that one stop now. So we're going to put a second one in. Up here, uh, where do you do it? I'm gonna do it over here, and that should hopefully, yeah, do it coming down here, and then that should start getting a few more bits um, of food delivered and help Budley grow a bit more. So we'll manage the line, we'll add an additional stop, which is that one. There we go. And then we will upgrade these trucks, manage vehicles, given the old swap a roof for these ones. That's nearly double the capacity now. And they're shinier and newer. And then on this one, we'll upgrade all of these vehicles to take food across the stableford. Hopefully that will help. Boom, all better quality. Happy day. And the other thing that I'm going to do with this. I'm going to do some road upgrading. So we've currently put an awful lot of these in at 80, but these trucks now do 100, I think it is. So we're going to pop on these much faster roads. All the way along. We'll come back and I'll solve that problem there in a second. I think what's happened is we now have too many trucks on the. Um, too many trucks doing 
the planes. There we go. Come back and finish off in a moment, but right now we will yes come back down here and sort out this debacle going on down here. Oh yeah, that's a big big problem there. We're gonna sell a few of these. So come in here, manage that vehicle, sell. Yeah. Manage this vehicle, sell. Yeah, gone. Manage this vehicle sell yep gone and we've got lots of trucks here now delivering that should make things a lot better um, then over here I think we've had an awful lot of logs here waiting for a while so we can manage these vehicles and these are all going to get upgraded to that one there we go oh I'm loving that noise very satisfying. There we go. So we should have a lot more speed coming through. While we're finishing up to get this right connection to the town. So we're going to have to move, we're going to have to relocate temporarily our headquarters. So headquarters. Just pop it there for now. There we go. I'm going to upgrade this road coming through the centre too. There we go, that should get some nice traffic going into the centre. And then we'll relocate our depot back over here, sort of where we want it, I think. There we go. Lovely. Very nice. So that's over here, making good progress. Has our queue subsided here? It has reduced an awful lot. It's going to take a while to clear through all of these trucks. But by the look of it, that's all good. Like, it's all moving quickly enough. That's not a problem. Let's have a look at how our cogs are doing over here. Ooh, we have a new train, an ice one. They'll be very quick and fast. Probably not what we need in such a small map at this point. I might just... How are these cogs doing? Yeah, we're transporting a fair bit of those. Yeah, transporting plenty there. How is our coal from over here coming on? I'm going to put two more trucks on this side. No, that's not one. This isn't it. Click on there. Manage vehicles. Okay, look, we'll put two more on. There we go. Right. Too many trucks in over here now with the new increased capacity of these oil trucks. So a few of these can be sold quickly. Is that one yet? down to 10. Happy days. Hopefully that will stop the queue up here and make them a bit more of a profitable line. Nice. So, where was the next thing that we wanted to have a look at? I think it was over here. Oop, no, not over here, in Budley Solstice. There's a lot of people waiting for this Rushton line. So I'm going to put on a fourth train. We've been mentioning this as a possibility for a while. But no, don't want to play all of them. Only want one more. Having six trains would be too many. Four. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Then over here, how's everything getting on? Oh yeah, so see how our new, we've got a new log line in? Yeah, we did put that in. 
Yeah, lots of logs waiting to go there. Oh, yeah, we'll replace all these vehicles with the bigger ones. So, Swappy, ready for the nice noise? Oh, there we go, very satisfying. I'm going to put a couple more on. Option 9. See how that does from now. And then we're going to have a look at this line over here. Plenty of planks waiting. All being transported, so that's good. But over here, so many spanners waiting. Ooh, come on, get the right button and we'll zoom in. Oh, rushed them. Yeah, these are all going to go the bigger trucks. Carry 30 spanners, not 17. I think it's 30. No, it's 25. Okay, it's not quite as big a jump as I thought it was. And then we'll do the same for Cleverton. For not Cleverton, for Cleveton. Why am I making up words half the time? Who knows? But there we go. That should um, get some more spanners on the move and hopefully make people a bit happier. Over here. We're actually, it's not shipping enough. We're just going to upgrade all these trucks. Have some nice yellow lorries. So, quick. Onto this one and there we go. Nice uh, quality truck. So, that, that should make that a little bit better. So how is Clevedon doing? 319. Okay. Hopefully we can get that growing a bit more soon. Now that those have been upgraded. Rushton, how's Rushton doing? Ooh, 922. That's always good. Let's keep see if we can keep that up at a nice level. Yeah. It's looking good up here. And then down over here, how's it going? We could probably put a fourth um, farm onto this one to keep the food production going. Badly sorted in food. I'm going to put another truck on this line. Just one more. There we go. I should probably take these planks around the outside of the city to try and reduce problems in town. Oh yeah, I was going to do in here, badly sold into to Brombra. I don't think it's particularly necessary. But we're going to put it on a second train. Just get some more people moving that way. And then we're going to see how many are on the stable for Badly Oh, we've already got two trains on there, so that's fine. Happy days. Yeah, we can get a bit carried away with putting extra vehicles in and stuff. We have quite a lot of money, was that 818 million? 820 million and it's racing up making so much money so we can enjoy ourselves and spend lots of monies yeah I'm going to upgrade, upgrade all of you to the new bigger trucks too there we go lovely noise I could probably sell a couple of these down here we seem to have quite a lot queuing I'm going to sell. Ooh, how many do we have? No, it's not configured, is it? We want to tap on you, manage vehicle. We already well, we have 18, we don't need that many. So, sell. I know there's probably an easy way to do this where I just click on one and then do we'll do the vehicle behind you so we'll do that one too and we'll sell them both there we go I'm going to leave it at that for now no no we we'll sell one more can't have 13 on there. There we go. 12, good number. 
uh, then we'll probably sell a couple of these over here because they're going to start causing us problems too. So we will sell. There it is, and we'll do that one and that one as well. Well done. And we'll do one more. Why not? We'll sell that one. Cool. And now I'll just go check that we're not clogging up over here. No, that's all good. Uh, we're close to it, but that should be okay. Like that traffic in the front is going to leave soon, and then that red one put in. Quick drink time. Okay, yeah. There we go. I'll sell one more of these red trucks, I think. Do you want to do that? No, I'm going to just hope that we actually now have the. Um, Number of lumber amount of trucks coming through, producing enough that we don't need to. How much does this truck have on it? Yeah, he's nearly gone anyway. So yeah, we're going to leave it at that. You can see how we're doing with the oil trucks up over here. Where are they? Zoom out. Have a. Oh, they're over here. Yep, that's all. That's all okay there. I'm going to upgrade these buses. I know it's nothing new, but pop these ones on in better condition. It will make people happier. So there we go. Over here, all that oil is shifting up at a lovely rate. That is now producing a lot more um, crude oil. Hopefully we don't refined oil, it's now making hopefully more plastic over here, which will then in turn make us more box. Yeah, we have plenty of it stored here. Plastic is not going to be an issue, we've got to increase our steel production probably. But I think we are making some nice solid progress at the moment. We have um, upgraded a few good trucks. We're just going to. Um, Let's follow a few vehicles for the moment. Oh, quick auto save. As soon as that's done, let's zoom in and have a quick track. We're going to follow this guy here, I think. As he loads up. He comes off through the mountains. It's a lovely little drive up through the trees and stuff. That should make him very happy to be driving that. Oh. Oh, there's not a lot of room as they pass each other. But then logging trucks are maniacs, so they will enjoy roads like this. Where they can try and drive other people off the road. It's perfectly what they want. Every single time, whoa, again. Even if they're colleagues, they're going to go for it. This road in between... Uh, Cleveton and Rushton probably needs upgrading. I might change it to a um, to one of those uh, um, sort of big highway sort of roads that we did between um, Stapleford and um, and Bradley Salterton. There we go, and you can deliver that to there. Tink, 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 and off they go. But yeah, if we, if we change this road up, it'll allow better traffic travel in between the two cities that'll help them grow a little bit but what we'll do is upgrade no if you do that wrong don't I want to click on the truck manage vehicles and we're going to replace all of these with cargo truck and because both logs and planks are in it we can go for that one which will mean in a moment we'll have to come through and um, remove a few of them. Oh, we're a bit close over there to that. Why is that not possible? Let's come do it.
Ooh, look at that, a nice new aeroplane to use. Although again, we're not going to be using airports on this map. Put a nice big road down through the centre. Hopefully more traffic flow through there will help them be happy and expand. So we can go back to this road now, where is it? Austin here is that's the one we want, the rural road. Don't know why you're not slotting in there. It's a bit weird. Jumpy jumpy there. Can to double check that we're still recording? I think we are. One more time. There we go, yeah. Anyway, I think we are about at the point where we're going to get this road in quickly. But I think it's going to take a little bit of a jiggery pokery to get it to fit in through all the little gaps and stuff. Up here, no, it's not going to fit with that tray line because I've got the two tray line too close. I'm going to quickly pause, delete. Then we're going to try and pop it back in. The idea is I think I want to slightly follow where it had gone. Oh. It's doing it again. Go away. Don't do that to me. Don't do it. There we go, it's got that bit connected there. I think it does sort of follow the way it used to go, which is half of what I wanted. I say half of what I wanted. It'd be nice if I did upgrade it, but I didn't really put my my train line in with that sort of possibility really much in mind. trying to do with it. There we go, that's got it all. Okay, we can put it back onto speed. Trucks can now start moving quicker along here, which will start getting more spanners up over it this way. Which can only be a good thing, I think. I'm just going to put a few roads in over here for um, Rushton to grow onto. So, just down through the centre there. Ooh, that's
There we go. I find this find the place where it will fit through. Nice. Might as well actually upgrade some of these roads coming in. I'll do this without removing too much of the centre, if that is possible. Is not possible through there. Anyway, that that will do for that section. And we'll put a road coming in around the outside of this train line over here. So if I just say start there, and then we can. more growth coming in and this will just connect up underneath there okay hopefully we can now get plenty more buildings coming in and that will help up here grow and other places grow and make everyone very happy but I think that's probably where I'm going to leave it for this episode um, we've got quite a bit done on screen now I'm going to have the populations for the towns at the end at the moment. Um, I don't know what they are yet, because I always look this up after I finish the recording. And we will see how we're getting on. Anyway, thank you very much for another episode, and I'll see you again in the next one.